Hey wellness crew and welcome to yoga with Jenna. I'm so excited that you're here to join me for today's practice. Don't forget to like subscribe and or follow. I would greatly appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and start with our sun salutation. Beginning in mountain pose. Falling forward into forward fold, relaxing the neck. Walking our hands out into plank, coming into hovering. So only the palms of our hands, the balls of our feet, and our toes are in contact with the mat. No other part of our body is in contact with our mat in hovering. Coming into upward dog, bringing our right foot forward for a low crescent lunge. Nice deep breaths. Bringing the palms of our hands back down to the mat, our right leg back, our left foot forward. Four, low crescent lunge. Bringing our hands back to the mat. Going ahead, tucking our toes underneath and coming in to downward dog, relaxing the neck. Stepping one foot forward, the other foot meets it. Forward fold. Coming up to half waves, back down to forward fold, and slowly rolling up. Okay, returning to mountain pose, falling forward for forward fold, stepping the left foot back, the right foot meets it so we can get into plank. Coming into hovering. Coming into upward dog. Bringing the left foot forward for a crescent low lunge, extending our arms up. Bringing your hands back down to the mat, bringing that left foot back, that right foot forward for the low crescent lunge. Bringing your palms to the mat, tucking our toes underneath to come into downward dog. Walking our hands in towards our feet, forward fold. Coming to half waves, back down. And slowly rolling up. Back into mountain. Falling forward into forward fold. Walking our hands out into plank. Coming into hovering. Coming into upward dog.
bringing that right foot forward for a low crescent lunge. Bringing our hands back down to the mat, bringing that right leg back, bringing the left foot forward for a low crescent lunge. And you can always adjust your foot a little bit forwards or a little bit backwards, depending on what makes you most comfortable. Bringing your hands back to the mat, tucking our toes underneath to get into downward dog, relaxing the neck. Stepping one foot forward, the other foot meets it, forward fold. Coming to half ways, back to forward fold. And slowly rolling up. <laughs> Hair's getting really long. <laughs> okay, so we're back in mountain pose. Falling forward for forward fold. Stepping one leg back, the other foot meets the other foot so we can get into plank. Coming into hovering. Coming into Upward Dog. Bringing that left foot forward for a low crescent lunge. Bringing the hands back down to the mat. Bringing that left leg back. And the right foot forward for a low crescent lunge. Bringing our hands back down to the mat. Getting onto the balls of our feet so we can get into downward dog. Walking our hands in towards our feet, forward fold, relaxing the neck. Coming up to half ways, coming back down. And slowly rolling up. Back into mountain pose. Coming in to a forward fold by falling forward. Walking our hands out to come into plank. To come into hovering. Coming to Upward Dog. Bringing the right foot forward for Low Crescent Lunge. Bringing our palms to the mat, bringing that right leg back. Bringing the left foot forward for a low crescent lunge on the left leg. Bringing our hands back down to the mat. 
coming on to, tucking our toes underneath to the balls of our feet so we can get into downward facing dog, relaxing the neck. Stepping one foot forward, the other foot meets it. Forward fold. Coming into half ways. Coming back into forward fold. And slowly rolling up. All right, last sun salutation. Mountain pose. Falling forward to come into forward fold. Stepping one foot back, the other foot meets it so we can get into plank position. Coming into hovering. Coming into upward dog. Bringing that left foot forward to come into a low crescent lunge. Bringing hands to the ground, bringing that left foot back, bringing the right foot forward. Again, low lunge. Low crescent lunge on the right hand side. Bringing our hands down, bringing that leg back, tucking our toes underneath so we can get into downward dog. Walking our hands towards our feet for forward fold. Coming up to half ways, returning to forward fold. And slowly rolling up. All right, awesome. Let me just fix the mat. <laughs> All right, from there, we're going to go ahead and do the yoga twerk just to continue to get ourselves warmed up. So we're going to have a nice wide squat. Our hands are on the mat. Have our toes turned forward as we pop our butt up. And then we're going to go ahead and reverse good morning it. Pop and up. And up. Four more. And 12. All right, awesome. Whew. All right, so from there, we're going to go ahead and get onto our hands and knees. We're going to do some cat cow just to warm up our spine. So bringing our head up, our bottoms up as we inhale. And as we exhale, bringing our head, the crown of our head towards the mat and arching our back.
All right, coming into a neutral spine, we're gonna go ahead and come into plank position. We're gonna bring our right leg out, lift the foot up off the mat, and bring it back in. Do the same thing on the left side. Three more. And coming into downward dog. Lifting the left leg up, bringing it down, right leg up, and down, left, and right, left, and right, left, and right. Left and right, left and right, left and right, left and right, last one, left and right. Going ahead, coming down onto our knees, being a little bit spread. Our arms are going to be extended out to come into child's pose. Now we're going to go ahead, come back into plank, but we're going to do it on our forearms. So, coming into plank, and then coming into dolphin. And dolphin is very similar to downward dog. It's kind of like downward dog, but on your forearms. Plank. Downward dog, I mean, <laughs> dolphin, <laughs> see, plank, dolphin, plank, dolphin, plank, dolphin, Plank, dolphin, plank, dolphin, plank, dolphin, last one, plank, and dolphin. From here, we're going to come onto our stomach. So we're going to go ahead and push ourselves up into seal. So we're going to open up our legs nice and wide. And if the arch in your back is too much, 
totally okay. You can go onto your forearms for Sphinx. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna bring our knees in just a little bit so that way they're underneath our hips. We're gonna go ahead and needle our left arm through our right, bringing our, the side of our, the left side of our head to the mat. going ahead and switching sides so the left palm of our hand is on the mat the right side of our head is on the mat and our right arm is extended in the hole that we've made underneath our elbow and behind our forearm All right, from there, we're gonna go ahead and stay on our knees. We're gonna extend our right leg out, bring it up and bring it back in. Extend our left leg out, bring it up and bring it back in. One more. All right, awesome. So from there, what we're gonna do is go ahead and come back onto our stomachs. We're gonna extend our arms out to our sides. I'm sorry if, let me do it this way. So I don't break this thing. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna extend our arm out to our sides. We're gonna go ahead and bring that left leg over, trying to reach close to our right elbow or right shoulder. Trying to keep both shoulders in contact with the ground. And switching sides, so bring that left leg back down. Now I'm taking that right leg, reaching over. leg back down. We're going to go ahead and come. Sorry about all this sound, guys. <laughs> okay. We're going to go ahead and come onto our right side. There we go. 
Okay. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead, we're going to bend our knees. Then we're going to go ahead and extend the bottom leg straight down and extend the top leg straight out like that. Coming back to straight, bending, extend, straight, like that. Very good. Going ahead and coming on to our left side. So bending, extending the top leg forward, extending the bottom leg straight. Straight legs, bend, extend, back to straight. Very good. Going ahead and coming onto our backs. We're going to go ahead and do a bridge flow by coming up, coming onto our toes, bringing it back to our heels, and bringing our butt back down. Up, toes, heels, down. Up, toes, Heels down, up, toes, heels down, up, toes, heels down. Three more. Awesome. All right, we're going to come back into a standing position just momentarily. We're going to go ahead and do reverse lunges. So stepping that left foot back. Coming back up and stepping that right leg back and coming up. Oh, it's because of my yoga mat sliding back. <laughs> Three more.
All right, awesome. We're gonna go ahead and come into that sumo squat. Having our hands in the prayer position. If you need to adjust your feet for any reason, feel free to do so. <laughs> Almost there. All right, good. From there, we're going to go ahead and get a straddle as wide as we can go and try to place our forearms on the mat. Going ahead and allowing our neck to relax. All right, very good. Coming into crow. So we're gonna go ahead and have the palms of our hands on our mat. We're going to have our elbows up a little bit closer to our shoulders. I mean, our knees, I'm sorry. And then get your toes off the ground. And coming back down. <laughs> We're going to do crow position three times, and that's going to count for uh, the balance <laughs> aspect of what's, what's in our programming. Okay. Shaking arms out. Moving bracelets. <laughs> All right. Palms of our hands on the mat. And feet back on the ground. Going ahead and getting your arms off the ground so there's no extra, not pressure's not the word, weight, I guess. <laughs> I can't think of the word. There, there's like a, a very specific word and I just can't think of it. That's okay though, I hope you forgive me. <laughs> All right, putting our palms of our hands back on our mat. Our legs on our elbows. And relax. Awesome. Okay. From there, we're going to go ahead and come into full saddle. So... Not exactly sitting on our feet, but your heels can be touching your butt, if that makes sense. Coming back onto our forearms. If this is a comfortable stretch for you on your quads, like in all of this area, then by all means, stay here. If you require more of a stretch, you can kind of inch your elbows down and let your back fall onto the mat. <laughs> We're going to hold it here for just a little bit. <laughs> 
most people have very tight quads. And if you aren't on top of it with foam rolling, it can cause so much discomfort and it'll affect other areas of your body, especially your hips and your knees. So this is an alternative. I actually, my son said that <laughs> rolling out his uh, quads was too painful. So I actually showed him this pose and I was like, okay, go ahead and do this. And he held it for a while, for sure. <laughs> I won't say how long, <laughs> but he did hold it for a while. And he did experience um, a lot of relief after doing and holding the pose for, you know, a certain period of time. But foam rolling is really good, super effective. In my opinion, the most effective one is not the ridged ones. It's actually, if you go to like a Home Depot or a Lowe's or whatever type of store that's like that, that you have in your community. And just having them cut PVC pipe for you, like a pretty big, you know, like the size of a foam roller, you know? And um, that in all honesty, and make sure it's thick, but that in all honesty has been the most effective way um, that I personally have um, foam rolled. Because at that point, I guess it's not really foam rolling, but I mean, it's doing the same thing. It's just, you know, you're using PVC pipe. It's incredibly effective. And what a lot of people miss that my old mentor taught me was um, that we don't get our I IT band enough. And that leads to a lot of issues. Again, same thing, knee area, hip area. You'll have a lot of tightness and you'll have a lot of discomfort sometimes. So that's another way to work that out. So if you don't have a foam roller or um, if you're thinking about investing in one, I would say instead of it, go get a PVC pipe. But if you're new to this and you're afraid of getting bruises or you know things like that, I mean, I used to roll out with a barbell on my biceps and stuff like that. So um, I get it. <laughs> foam rolling in any capacity is better than not. And if you have any mobility issues or any chronic discomfort, it will help so much. <laughs> and I do have a couple of videos on mobility. I show um, mobility, I think in one of my like way early videos, I show voodoo banding, which is also amazing. Um, so check those out if you haven't, because they are um, they kind of give you the whole plethora of mobility stuff. There's two out there, but if you go to the original, I think the original is the one that has the, the booted banding. And then just breathing deeply. And slowly coming up onto your elbows and your forearms and your hands. We're going to go ahead and extend. Well, not really extend. We're actually going to keep our, uh, we're going to have our knees bent still. We're going to go ahead and go into a bridge, a full bridge position, which is why we did the bridge full. So coming up into bridge. And coming back down. We're going to do that one more time. So in between, we're going to go ahead and do knees to chest, the stretch, interlacing our fingers below our knees and pulling our legs in towards our chest. It's a good way to offset any major um, back arches.
Okay. Going ahead, bringing our feet to the mat. Our palms to the mat. And coming up into bridge. And relaxing back down. Going ahead and coming back into knees to chest, having your fingers interlaced, pulling your legs in. And going ahead, we're going to bring our right ankle across our left thigh, right below the knee. Interlace our fingers behind our left thigh and pull in for supine pigeon. Sorry, I'm having a heavy lupus day. <laughs> So I'm really shaky. All right. And we're going to go ahead and switch sides, switch legs, and release our fingers behind our right thigh, pulling that left ankle that is on our the top of our right thigh in towards us. All right, awesome. From here, we're going to go ahead, extend our legs forward, bringing our arms up overhead, and coming into a straight leg forward fold. All right, awesome. Bringing the bottoms of our feet together. We're gonna go ahead and bring our heels as close to our groin as we possibly can without racking yourself, obviously. And coming forward into a forward fold. We're getting there. And slowly coming up. Going ahead and extending our right leg straight, our left foot is into our upper inner thigh. And we're gonna go ahead and fold forward. And 
again, switching sides. So our left leg is extended. Our right foot is into our mid to upper left thigh. And coming up, and now we are ready for Shavasana. So having our feet a little bit apart, about the width of your mat, and having your uh, arms extended down, but with your palms facing up, so that way you're in a receiving position for whatever the universe or your higher power wants to provide to you. And if you have that as your intention, it is amazing what you will see happen. Taking nice deep breaths. And extending an arm out, bringing your feet in, coming onto your side, coming up into a seated position, whatever that is for you is totally okay. <laughs> I appreciate you so much for joining me on this practice. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and or follow, and I will see you on the next video. Be well. Stay wild.